It was September 1st, 1939. I headed off to secondary school with a major test only hours away. I remember only barely getting a couple hours of sleep that night cramming for the test. No, 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 no. Grandpa, Grandpa, Grandpa. Tell me about the Battle of Ortana. Okay, son. This is the last story. Then you gotta go to bed, okay? The story takes place in a small town in Italy called Ortana, and it, it was a bitter and stormy night, December 19th, 1943 to be exact. The streets were filled with rubble from all the houses that the Germans blew up. It was 23.45, 15 minutes till midnight when we'd execute the initial attack on the town. We had just arrived a couple days prior in a landing craft just near the Mora River. Our first order was from command to clear all the houses by using a remote explosive with a timer to explode a hole in the side of the houses to enter. This was called mouse holing. When clearing one of the houses, a Nazi soldier approached me. It was unfortunate, but it was either me or him. We kept clearing all the houses. It was the morning of December 20th, and we had just finished clearing all the buildings. We came across this Italian military camp five clicks west of where we started to infiltrate and round up resources such as weapons, emeries, and more. I hadn't eaten in days, and we had found tons of food including chicken, beef stew, and fish. My brigade and I ventured through the buildings. Unfortunately, mouse holding was a dangerous game and sometimes the Germans would place bombs and mines that triggered when our bombs exploded. Over 1,300 Canadian soldiers had been killed during the battle. Since it was Christmas, some of the other brigades decided to take a break and celebrate. However, the Germans were ruthless and didn't care. And unfortunately, the only present they got was going home in a casket. Slowly, over time, the German paratroopers started to slowly leave the area. After eight bloody days, the Battle of Ortana ended on December 28, 1943. Over a total of 2,300 Canadian casualties and over a total of 1,300 civilian deaths, one in every ten civilians in the town of Ortana died.